One more speaker, and then I'm going to bring out a very special guest. But uh, right now, I want to introduce uh, from one of the groups on campus that's given us the most help over the last couple of months. Um, that would include the student, student labor action movement, SLAM. Thank you. Woo! Woo! Big cheer for SLAM. And of course, Occupy Harvard, who, among other things, gave incredible prominence to what we're trying to do here and the effort to stop layoffs in the libraries by occupying the Lamont Cafe for an entire week. Yeah. Woo! Woo! So without further ado, from Occupy Harvard, I give you Rudy Batzel. Thank you, Jeff, and thank you for organizing this event. And many of you may know, this is not just a single event. We've been marching, we've been chanting, we've been speaking out, and we've been discussing this, we've been firing, we've been occupying. Because this is not just one moment, this has been a long history of attacks on workers at Harvard. And we need to remember that the workers here, they're not just service providers, they're not just a line in the budget, they are part of this community. They make research possible, they make learning possible, and if they're going to be treated the commodities that can just be thrown away, that is unacceptable. It should be unacceptable as students, unacceptable as faculty. Each and every one of us needs to get together, stand up, and fight back against this program. As a graduate student in history, I know how much libraries mean to me. We need to fight for these libraries. We need to fight for these workers. They're not about obstructing change. They're not about sticking to the past. They want these libraries to be good. They want to serve us and be part of this community in a valuable way. All that the, all that the university wants to do, President Faust, Provost Garber, Executive Director uh, Helen Shenton, they're about cutting the budget, cutting the libraries, cutting workers. We say no to cuts, no to austerity. We need a good, solid community of workers, students, and faculty fighting for this vital institution at this university. Woo! Now, this is just, this is going to be continue. You know, we, we've marched, we've rallied, we've spoken out, we've discussed, we've flyered, we've occupied, and none of that's over. And we're going to keep marching, we're going to keep protesting, and we're going to bring this message to the entire community. We will not accept layoffs. We will not accept cuts. There is no reason, no justification, and Provost Garber, President Faust, you know that there is no good reason. You need to step back and reconsider and rethink these terrible plans that you put out in front of us. Now one way that we're going to continue this conversation, we've organized a forum with library workers to talk, talk to us about the valuable work they do, with faculty to talk about how much libraries mean in their work, and for students to come and talk about what libraries mean to them. We need you to keep coming out, tell everyone you know, be part of this conversation, and be part of this movement. This forum will be on Tuesday, February 10th at 5 p.m. April 10th. April 10th, thank you. Get my time confused. Tuesday, April 10th, 5 p.m. in the Barker Center. Please come out. Please be there. Tell President Faust. Tell Provost Garber. We will not accept these layoffs. We will not accept these cuts. They are unacceptable. Workers are part of this community. We need to stand with them and fight with them every step of the way. Thank you very much. Thank you, Rudy. Everybody remember, April 10, 5 o'clock, the forum that Rudy just discussed. Now, I want to I wanna introduce one of our most faithful friends from Harvard's faculty. And they don't make it easy for faculty members to stand with workers on this campus. I hope everybody will keep that in mind. When you give a big hand for our, our great friend, Professor John Womack. Thank you, Jeff, and thank you all for coming out. Um, a lot of the things that people have said here earlier strike me as quite right. This is just get real close. Okay, this is a real 
community. Um, that it, it, it sort of has to be uh, because so many of us have been here. Well, most of us are here for quite a long time uh, in matters of years. I've been here more than I want to count. Um, but, uh, and some of us like each other, like in most communities. Some people get along fine, other people hardly know each other. Some people hate each other's guts. But it is a kind of community. Uh, but it's also a pseudo-community. Uh, because the reason we know each other and have been here so long is because we have an employer. Um, this is a great, like most great corporations in the United States, a great uh, non-tax paying, uh, profit making corporation. Uh, and it pays us wages uh, for jobs, more or less good jobs, uh, that we have. Uh, and in that way, it, it, uh, it does what any other employer does. But with this sort of communitarian face, uh, like we give you ice cream on spring days or whatever, um, the it also says, like most employers, learn to do your job really well. Uh, that's what we need, good employees. And the librarians here, uh, and along with lots of other uh, Harvard employees, do their jobs very well. Uh, I've been using that these libraries for decades, and the librarians are terrifically helpful and have been essential to the work that I've tried to do. Um, and so you, they, they do their job better and better and better. And then they, as things change, technically, uh, as they keep happening, people figure out fire, they figure out a wheel, they figure out lots of things. They figured out electronic uses. Uh, and so that's a new technology. Great. Uh, it's just a thing. Uh, and can be used for good or ill, but there's a lot of good things that it is useful for, and people are figuring out how to use them, along with a lot of terrible things. Um, the point I want to make is, though, that the university then says, because we have this sort of smiling, friendly face for the community, a kind of royalty uh, that, that runs the community, uh, speaks for the community, but meanwhile we have professional managers who then hire uh, cost cutters, meaning job cutters, and benefits cutters, and wage cutters. Um, and so these guys come and they say, well, the thing is, you don't need this kind of job anymore, so fire those people. Said, well, they learned how to do that really well. And they put a lot of intelligence, effort, and, and concentration into it. Tough. We don't need them anymore. They're, they're, they're a drag on your bottom line. So fire them. Uh, so they say, well, okay, uh, let's fire them. The problem is that it's the workers themselves who know in almost all cases how, what's wrong with the way things work now and how to make them work better. How to really restructure things, alter scales, um, put things together in a different way, improve services and jobs. And instead of going to them, instead of making committees among them to figure out what would be the best way of developing a new modern 21st century library for research at large. Instead of that, they have professionals. It works a little like hiring professionals who never taught a class in a grade school to figure out how to reform public education. Another insanity. Um, and the insanity here is that the very people who could give them best advice from inside about how to th make things better are being pushed out into the dark and told, you, know, you may be fired. Tough. You learned all that. You can't learn anything else because you're just you. So leave us alone while we figure this out in private. That's wrong. It's stupid and it's wrong.
and all the pressure that you can keep uh, to prevent uh, this new uh, turn. Uh, I should uh, keep it up. Thank you. John, what a great speech. And thanks to our friend Itamar from the Service Employees International Union. And thank you, SLAM. Thank you, Occupy Harvard. Thank you, Socialist Alternative. Thank you, Industrial Workers of the World. Thank you, Common Struggle. Did I miss anybody? Well, thank you, too, whoever you are. Occupy UMass Boston. Woo! All right. I want to welcome our next speaker from the Industrial Workers of the World. Give it up for Steve Kellerman.